So thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen, on another episode of You Are The Manager. Today, in the hot seat, in the place of David Moyes, in the summer transfer window, with a whole £85 million budget to spend, ladies and gentlemen, is Charlie Walsh of Hammers Chat. How are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. Fine, thank you. A little bit out of breath from what I was just doing before the show started, but that's fine. Um, you know, <laughs> We won't tell them. Well, don't need to know. Don't need to know. But yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm unprepared. And so whatever names come out, come right. out. And we're just going to, we're going to see. I'm about as prepared as I imagine West Ham are most transfer windows. So we'll see. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. What could possibly go wrong? What could mm. possibly go wrong? Um, before we go too much further, I'm, I, I keep forgetting to do this. So guys, if you're watching, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of any new content as and when we upload it so the basic premise of this if uh, anybody that's watching this that hasn't seen it before uh, is that basically we're going to give charlie a virtual 85 million pounds and he is going to be controlling who comes into the club we're not worried about who is going out you know we probably know who's going to go out and the 85 million quid probably in part going to be generated by player sales. So we're just going to give Charlie an £85 million budget and he's going to bring in whichever players he sees fit. Now, he can also bring in players on free transfers if he thinks that if he spends his budget and he's down to the, as Harry would say, the bare bones as far as the coffers are concerned, he might want to dip into the free transfers. So, or maybe even loans, who knows? So are you up to the challenge, my friend? You're looking worried. You, you, you're on mute. There yeah, I know. It's because there was a, a thing. No <laughs> is the answer to that question. No, I'm not at all. <laughs> I'm not at all. Good. I'm not at all. That makes it more entertaining. Makes it more entertaining. Let's tell ourselves that. And then we'll judge that when we get to the end. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> it's, it's, it's something to do on a bank holiday. Let's crack on. OK, so um, also just one thing I should have said, uh, again, for people that haven't seen this before, we are going to use transfer market as our barometer for player prices. Now, I appreciate that in the real world, some players might in reality go for slightly more, slightly less. But we're just going to you know, we're having fun. This is not a real 85 million quid. Charlie's not really David Moyes. This is just a little bit of role play, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a tool we're using. So let's go with it. So, Charlie, yes. who is the first player that if you was in David Moyes' shoes in the summer, mm. what's the first player you'd want to bring through the door with your 85 mil? Jordan Hugel. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ser serious. Yep. Okay. Look, here's the justification, right? We okay. need more strikers. We need lads okay. who are in the dressing room who are going to be good dudes, right? Who are going to be solid people to work with. We've got that togetherness right now. We've got a group of, of people who clearly get on. We don't want to disrupt okay. that with any of these fancy damn good footballers, all right? What we need are big, reliable boys who are going to do bits. And to that end, okay. Jordan Hugel. Moyes liked him enough the first time he bought him. The first time he can buy him, the second. Let's go. Come Jordan on. Jordan Hugel, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Yep. How much? Okay, right. Well, I am going to put him on stream for the ladies and gentlemen. He's okay. 1.8 million of 85. Bargain. Absolutely. Million bargain. budget. Are you sure? You think so? Listen, for it. if I could, if I could okay. buy first signing forty two point five of him, I would. I would, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, th I think I think Cahill's on on side with you. He knows. He knows. He, he's sort of like saying, a fan of the the Hugill Meister. I'm just saying again, if I could buy forty two and a half of him, I would. I think. Look, we need strikers. Get him in. Get him in. You know, you're talking. Look, well, there's always you, talk. Everyone's like, everyone's like, you've oh, got maybe, him in, Mr. Moyes. Maybe we should get Giroud, blah, 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 blah. Bruv, name me 
anything Giroud can do that Hugo can't. You know? You know? You've put me on the spot, Charlie. What can I say? Thank You've you put me much. on the spot. I, I, and the answer. I will, I will let you take one point eight million. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Silence is golden, as someone once said. Yes. Um. So, eight one point eight million of your 83, 85, excuse me, million pound budget has just been spent on bringing Jordan Hugill back mm. to London Stadium. Uh, mm -hmm. leaving you, if my maths is correct, with 83.2 million. Yep. So that's signing number one. Is is that where you're mm -hmm. going to end your transfer spending or are you going to bring I some think, more? In? I think the squad's complete, personally. I don't know what okay. else we could okay. do. I'll hit end I broadcast. think we will uh, hit end broadcast. <laughs> Subscribe, everyone. Thanks for coming. Yeah, that's um... fine. We're done. Right. Next person. Here's where the brain comes to play. Because I haven't Ooh. got the foggiest where we're going from here. You know, before we started and I said I had one person yep. in my mind, that was it. That's all I forgot that right now. It. So what, what what happens now is all off the dome. Can I get... This is an obvious one. Yep. This is an obvious one. And I'm playing the game a little bit. Um, and I, I need to get a quick price check on on the... Basically, and I think you've already done this, but the difference between Jesse Lingard and uh, Mateus Pereira. I can tell you, I don't even have to type that in because we've had a couple of people that have done it earlier. Yeah, exactly that. So, Jesse Lingard was or is on transfer market 19.8 million pounds. Okay. And Mateus Pereira is 11.7 million pounds. So, if it's an either or, that's, that's the difference in price. Obviously, there's a three year difference in their ages. Etc. Etc. Mm. See, because I think, because I think the thing is right. Because there's there's other players I like who play in and around those positions, right? But uh, mm -hmm. for example, if Norwich hadn't come up, you, I you damn straight, I'd be looking at Buendia. You damn straight, I'd be looking at Todd Cantwell. Love both of those yep. players as footballers, right? <clears throat> and actually, Cantwell can play different positions. But I'm sort of thinking, if I'm going to try and be realistic about this, then I can't really go for people who have just come up. Because realistically, they're not going to leave their clubs. Um, they might do next summer when Norwich depressingly and inevitably go back down. But for now, I, I, I can't touch them. I can't touch them as much as I want to. Even though I look at Cantwell and I'm like, I, it's not, like, come on. Um, so it's probably going to be between those two players because they're the achievable ones. Off the top, again, this is off the top of my head. I'm painfully aware I am forgetting like 15,000 people. But we're going to, 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 exactly. Well, I've already got one in. Well, let's go. So, here's the difference. I think that Pereira at 10, like, what did you say? It was 11, 10 something? Uh, Pereira was 11.7. Let me just double check. I've got that right. Uh, Pereira's 11.7. Jesse Lingard's 19.8. 11.7 is one of those prices where if that was the realistic price, also, <laughs> I'll touch him all over the place. You don't even know. I feel like if that was the realistic price, let's say we actually went to West Brom and they went right 11.7 or whatever and it was the thing then I feel like that's almost too good to say no Pereira in my head is like 21 but he's not he's 25 so he's yeah. coming into his prime now so as much as I think it's smarter to go for the as much as I always think it's smarter to go for the younger person who can then grow into it and you can sell on for more money down the line I almost think potentially Jesse Lingard is the better shout here because we know he works okay. in the system we know everyone likes him and as much as I don't want to spend twenty million on staying where we are, I feel like out of the it, that might be the better shout. So I'm gonna say Jesse, although I'm not convinced at all on that. So I'll put Jesse Lingard down. We'll put Jesse Lingard down. Okay. Well, I'm just waiting for his page on transfer market to load up so I can get this up for just so the ladies and gentlemen on at home can can have a look for themselves. So here he is. So Jesse Lingard, nineteen point eight million pounds worth of player, and uh, just putting a little bit of meat on the bones. Should anyone want it, sixteen appearances, nine goals, five assists, three yellow cards. Can play his main position is attacking midfield. He can also play as left or right winger. So, Mister Moyes, are you sure? Is this you want to splash the cash on, Mister Jesse Lingard? I do. I do. Get him in. Get Jesse in. ASAP. 
you know, before he has a good Euros and signs a new contract at Man United and inevitably goes for like 40 million instead. Get him in now. Worry about his inevitable decline next season later. That's my opinion on the matter. Short sighted. Okay, so that's how we're rolling today. <laughs> so 19.8 million has just been spent on your second player through the door, Jesse Lingard, which mm-hmm. takes your budget down to 63.4 million. So okay. Where are we going now, Mr. Moyes? <laughs> Don't start with me, Cal. Um, okay, so as you say, like the eighty-five mil is probably is is probably got like some players going out, right? And one of the positions I think we really have to, if we're not, I don't think we have to look at it this season, but we certainly have to look at it next season for certain. Is goalkeeper. So. Mm-hmm. Let's vibe goalkeepers. Can I get a price check on PSG's uh, Areola, please? Of course, on loan at Fulham this year. Um, he's oh, he's right. been very good oh, for a long time. Yeah, and I can tell you him. this straight off of my little book of knowledge here because I've had a couple of people. Yeah. Areola, I can tell you straight off the bat, he's 13.5 mil. Okay, that's probably about yeah, it's probably about fair. I think he's I I've really liked him for a long time. He's played at he went he was at PSG since he was a kid. I know he went on loan at Real Madrid for a while. He's been at various different mm-hmm. places. I I've, I've liked him for a while. And what I I he would always be someone that I would be tempted by regardless, but the fact he came in and I think stood himself in very good stead at Fulham despite going down. I think he was one of the t- points in that team where you go actually he's done pretty he's done pretty good work. 13.5 is you're wanting him you're wanting the, the nip yeah you're wanting him to come in and challenge Fabianski and I think he like he, a he's definitely doing that with the view to carrying on I don't know though if he would be fine with that but in this world where Jordan Hugo's coming back I think that's enough to convince him He's like, maybe I don't want to play second. Maybe I don't want to fight for first team. Blah, 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 blah. But then he sees he gets to work with the job. And I think that's the convincer. That's the convincer, Gatesby. So I'm, I'm, I think, 30, yeah, 30.5 for Ariel. I think that's a fair price as well. Bring, bring him in. He's, 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 relative, he's, got, he's got good age on him as well. I think he's only like 28 or 27 or something. So for a goalkeeper, I think that's pretty decent. Yeah, he's 28. Um, he turned 28 in February, just gone. Uh, as you say, he's, he's Paris Saint-Germain's player on loan at Fulham last season. Mm-hmm. He played 36 of their 38 Premier League games, conceded 48 goals, but that's obviously not all, or necessarily all a reflection on him. And he kept nine clean sheets. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, in a, in a Fulham team that got relegated, but 13.5 million from Paris Saint-Germain. Mr. Moyes, is this your goalkeeper? Let me put it this way. I'm significantly more convinced by Ariola than I am of Sam Johnston. And Sam Johnston's going to go for about that price anyway. It will be slightly lower than that. I suspect Sam Johnston will go for just over 10 mil. But at the same time, that's relatively about the well, same price. And I'm significantly more convinced. By I'll him. tell you what. I'll tell you what. Before you make your mind up, because I have got it down here how much um, Sam Johnston was. Okay. Again, okay. his name's come up as well. So before okay. you make your mind up, um, I'll tell you that Sam Johnston on transfer market is valued at 7.2 million. 7.2. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> okay, I'm just trying to I'm trying to think who else who what other goalkeeper because the thing is again, I'm I'm sort of I'm one of these people. I like it's the second the problem is beginning to be a problem, I want to solve it then and there. Like one of my big problems with the way we've dealt with stuff over the last like five to six to seven to eight years is like, we just don't deal with it. <laughs> like, like the right back problem, for example, we didn't deal with until Kufal came in. And he's been, that's been an issue since before Carl Jenkinson came in. Do you know what I mean? It's a problem. Not enough is the answer, Cal. He's not valued enough. So like, I want to get these things sorted. I want to get them done. So like Fabianski, I, I genuinely, if Fabianski is first choice next season, I am completely okay with that. I'm more than happy with that. I haven't got an issue with that. But... We know it's a problem on the horizon. We know he probably might get an injury this season. He's going to miss some time out. I feel like we need to be at that stage where we're like, right, let's get it sorted. And also on top of that, to be honest with you, I'm not convinced by Trot. If I was convinced by Trot or or Anang or whatever, I'd be like, okay, 
maybe we just get another sort of seasoned, let's to word it politely, seasoned professional in to play second choice to Fabianski while that youth player comes through, or maybe the youth player becomes second choice or something else. But try, it's not. I'm not convinced yet. Personally, I'm not convinced yet. Um, so I think getting someone in who's around the age of 28, where they're going to be like basically in their prime. They can do their bits and that gives them a little bit more time to grow and maybe time to go and find someone else. I think that's probably the right thing to do. I'm trying to think off the top of my head other goalkeepers I thought have been good this year. And again, you're going to notice a lot of these are Premier League because I've watched more Premier League. Usually I watch quite a wide breadth of football, but this year, for some reason, despite having all the time in the world, I haven't. And I don't know why. I don't know why. So a lot of my knowledge is going to be Premier League this time. I'm trying to think who else has been decent. That's probably achievable. Um... I'm trying to think of people as well who'd be happy with second choice. What about... Do you know what? I'm not convinced by him, but just out of interest, what's Gaeta saying at Crystal Palace? I'm not convinced by Gaeta by any stretch of imagination, but okay. I'm just interested. I'm just interested. Let me just put him in. Having a look, Just having a little... I'm scanning the brain banks while you do that, just trying to think. Just having a little, little look. He, Vicente Gaeta, is... Ooh. Okay, two point seven million. He's valued it on transfer market. See, I th for second choice, that's not a bad shout. But again, I'm not. I'm not convinced by him going on to be first choice, and I'm not convinced by our youth options to take over. But I do think he's a better option than we have off the bench currently. I do think he's a better option than. Mm. Can I just shout out to a. Shout out to Google Calendars. Just letting me know that this show is happening. Thank you, Google. Um, yeah, I'm not convinced <laughs> by him. But I'm not, I don't think he's going to be like first choice. It's going to happen every single time or anything like that. But I do think he's a better backup than we have option for. And really, that's sort of what I'm trying to think at. Um, may, the only other one I can think of. So are you are you head. bringing him in as a purely as a backup rather than the, the, the sort of like the heir apparent to Fabianski? Kind of. I mean, he's he's 34. It's it's very much in the, it's like it's like in my head it's like Fabianski is going to get injured. This will allow us to go and spend money more on other positions. Yeah, I was thinking maybe Debravka. Mm -hmm. What's Debravka saying actually? Ben's a smart. I, I trust Ben's opinion. What's Debravka saying? Debravka at Newcastle. Okay, that was the other one. Well, of course, the head. other the other one you've got is uh, Carl Darlow, haven't you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I prefer, so, I prefer, who do you I want prefer, me to have a look at first? I prefer Debravka. So let's Dubravka? go Debravka first. Carl Darlow, I think a decent okay. goalkeeper. Don't get me wrong, but I certainly do prefer the Bravka. You're you're being a little bit canny with your. Which, if you're David Moyes, being being of of Scottish stock, I I think it's fair to. Um, shrewd operators, as far as finances are concerned. Listen, but in this world, David Moyes is uh, from now. the ministries of North London and is always so, scared. So you know. <laughs> right, so here he is, Martin Dubravka, four and a half million. Reasonable. It is mm, reasonable. Now you've got decisions to make. You're you're tempted, I can tell. Sanchez hasn't been. Alex has just come in with that one. Sanchez has not been bad. Sanchez has not been bad at all. And he's a lot younger. So he could be, he could potentially come in and be the How number one is, down the track. Sanchez? How old is Sanchez? That's a good shot. Sanchez I think he's is only about people... twenty five, isn't he? Really? I've literally zero clue how old Sanchez is. I didn't know he existed I'm before sure check this for season. You. Yeah, thank you, Henry. I've, I've had zero clue he's existed before this season, and so I have no knowledge of him whatsoever. I don't know where he came from. Don't know where he goes. Don't know where he came from. Cotton Eye Joe. Do you know what I mean? No clue. <clears throat> Not the foggiest. Not the foggiest. Well, um, I know he um he's been at Brighton since he was fifteen. Really? And he's actually he can actually play for he's twenty three years of age, Robert Sanchez, and he's a million pounds worth of goalkeeper. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. That's not even a picture. What disrespect that area is, it's loaded. It, it, it's, that's very interesting. 
Now we've got a decision. Okay, so here's my decision. This is what I'm breaking it down to. It's got to be either Ariola, and we're saying, look, this guy's the first choice right now. It's happening. Or we're getting in Sanchez as the second choice. I, I think, look, Randolph, it, I wouldn't have Randolph at the club for off the field reasons, right? But if we ignore them for a second, I think Randolph is a decent, that's a decent point as well, Cal, actually, to be fair. I think Randolph is a good goalkeeper, but it always has seemed to take him time to get up to speed. He's never someone who can just drop in and be great. Although he has the game, the game he dropped into this season, I think he's been very good. And I think that's fair enough. But in general, I do think he's a can I do think he's a a decent enough goalkeeper, but it takes time. And from what I know about like, for example, when we signed him, I spoke to a Charlton fan who I know who was like, Yeah, he's good, but it took him time to get there. And I read someone else saying the exact same thing about another club. It's just always seemed to be his thing. Um, and so I want someone who the who can come in and definitely do it. Ariola would have to play second fiddle some games. I think in Europe that gives us a lot more flexibility because obviously we can have a cup goalkeeper and a and a league goalkeeper and that not be a huge issue. However, I don't think mm -hmm. we're going to go that far in Europe. And I think, as Cal said, I think actually Ariola, if he's going to go somewhere, he's going to be one of the first choice, no matter what. Um, so I'm going to actually, do you know what? Sticking with realism. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know if Sanchez would want to come in and play second fiddle, but you know what? Sanchez, we bring him in. It's happening. We're bringing him in and we're saying, look, you're going to be the cup mil. guy. You're going to play in Europe. It's going to happen. And we're looking at you as the long-term success. to Because I think the thing Cal said about age is what convinced me a little bit. It's the idea of what's the point yeah. of bringing someone in who's the same age as Randolph. And as I said, I like to solve problems before they're there. So I'm saying Sanchez. And hey, 7.2 mil, although it's, although it's not nothing for a goalkeeper, if it doesn't work out in a couple of years, we can still recoup half of that and it only be a three mil loss or something. You know what I mean? So I, I, I'm backing yep. that. I'm backing that. As much as as much as much I yeah. agree with what Alex is saying here, and I do strongly agree with that, <clears throat> the fact he's going to have to play second choice. If Fabianski was if Fabianski was definitely leaving this summer, for example, then we go and we get Ariola, we get it done, it's happening, right? Seeing as he's not, that's the way I'm going to play it. That's the way I'm going to play it. OK, so Robert Sanchez is your third player through and that being £7.2 million worth of investment takes your £85 million down to £56.2 million, Mr Moyes. Where are we going next? I think we need a centre-back. I think we need a centre-back. The thing is, I don't know what kind because I really like our centre-back options. I really like... Ogonna. Hopefully a good one. Well, hopefully a good one. That's the, that's the goal. That's the goal here. That's the goal Paolo here. Paolo Maldini reincarnated? Is Roger Johnson still playing? Can we get a price oh, check no. on Roger? No. no. Um, <laughs> I think realistically, because I like... Look, I like Ogbon a lot, obviously. I think he's our best centre-back by country mile. That's obvious. I like Diop even though I don't think he's as consistent as we'd all want him to be, and he does have a mistake yep. in him, his age and his like ceiling, if you will, denote that actually I want Diop to be playing as much as possible. My preferred centre-back pairing, if we were playing two at the back next season, would be Diop and Orbana. Wild, I know. So I'm not convinced. And then we have Dawson. who And Dawson, in my head, is a good backup choice. He could be good fourth choice. So I'm thinking, mm. what kind of, what kind of centre-back do we need? But I do think we need one. I like having four solid centre backs, especially going into Europe. And again, as much as we have uh, Alves, who I've never seen, so I've got no opinion on um, yeah. Elisi, who who did well in the preseason games, and the uh, other kid who I can't remember his name off the top, but Baptiste, who played well in the preseason yeah. games. I don't think they're at the level where you can just lob them in the Europa League or the Premier League or anything else and just have them go wild. So, having said that. Having said that, uh, Ben just said uh, Ben White. I want to get a price check on Ben White. He's certainly someone I'm interested in. Okay, right. And just putting his name into the Oracle that is known as Transfer Market, and it's thinking about it. It's twenty-five point two million pounds worth of centre back. He's probably the young, he's probably really young still as well. It's like twenty-three. He is 23 indeed. Yes, spot on. Knowledge. See that? Knowledge, mate. All up here. Mm. All up here. That's what you get when you hire a, a manager it's... as excellent as I am. Um, okay. 25. That's 20 a lot. years I in the like... Premier League. That's what happens. 
20 years in the Premier League, 50 odd in life, uh, you know, yeah. seven hours of sleep a night. I'm just on point. Um, I think maybe 25 is a lot. I like him though. And actually in my head, can I get a, can I get a price check on uh, Anderson of Fulham uh, on loan from Leon? Is it Leon? I think it's Leon. Right. Now, you're going to have to help me because how is his name spelled? Is it double S or? I, as far as I remember, it's a single S and it's spelled the same way Anderson we have is, but with an E. The easy, this uh -huh. is what I do, right? So this is what I do when I can't figure something out. I go to the club Fulham and then click on him from there because that way I definitely know how to spell Fulham. <laughs> That's what I do. It's the neat workaround. Hang on. Watch him, Anderson. Here he is. Mm. Here he is. Got him. 19.8 million. Yeah, probably makes sense. I, do you know what I like about him as well? He's tall. I like an unnecessarily tall player. Do you know what I mean? Especially at centre-back. I like just big boys. Yeah. I like just big boys. Oh, yeah. Um, how... They're both a lot. And more than I think we need to spend on centre back this summer. So let's think. Let's, let's search. Let's search the memory back. Hey, go look at that height. One point nine two, mate. Yes. <clears throat> Tell you what. Let's start a basketball team mm. while he's here, shall we? Um. Okay. Probably. <laughs> Jamal. Jamal. I mean, Lascelles. Cavill made the recommendation of Big Nat. I mean, he's Nat Phillips. You, you're mean, talking about that someone. You're talking about Nat Phillips. We can have a look. We can certainly have a look. Yeah, he's certainly have a look. I don't think I don't so, I don't think he'll leave, but I'd be interested. I'd be interested to have a look because I want to try and keep we'll I'm trying to keep the options we're getting in realistic here. I'm trying, so I don't think he'll leave. He could be an option on loan, to be fair. That is actually a fair point. He could definitely be an option on loan. Um Ooh, what a, I'll tell you what. Oh, hold on. I'll tell you what, you Carol might have given you a a good little bit bit of advice potentially. He would do that. What, he would I'll just do wait that. for this page to load up. I would bring in. I would bring in Carol yeah, as the what, director of football this, if I were in charge. So this this might this might be a little bargain. Four point five. Look at that. That's yeah. very interesting. That's very interesting. Can I get can I get a check on Jamal Lascelles at Newcastle? Jake, you're gonna to want okay. to watch the beginning, is all I'll say to you, Jake. Jake, that's all I'll say is watch the beginning. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna to have to go back and you're gonna to want to watch the beginning. You're gonna to have to watch it from the beginning, Jake. Yeah, simple as that. What you're so looking for let me just put so they exist. Jamal Lascelles, L A S C E L L E S, isn't it? Yeah, I'm interested Thanks. to see what his price is because he's had a hell of an injury hit season. I think Jamal Lascelles is a really, mm. really good centre back, and I really like him. But that boy has had a lot 11. of eleven point seven million for someone that injury prone. Eleven point seven mil. It's a lot. It's not. Do you know what? In the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot. But if you mm. If you go to, for example, his career section and injury history, you'll probably see how many injuries he's had this year, which has been wild. He is he that boy has been absolutely got. <laughs> like he has been on the injury. He's like he's been Landy Carroll. It's been a bit wild. It's been a bit wild. Uh, don't know him to be fair, Alex. Don't know him to be fair. I'm trying to have. A, I'm trying to. I'm trying to trying to Alex is taking on the role of your director of football. I listen, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm happy. I'm happy to have suggestions here. Um uh I'm trying to I'm trying to have a little in my head who else is Again, I'm trying to think who's 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 gettable, who's realistic. I like that Nat Phillips shout, you know. I like that Nat Phillips shout. We're bringing in Nat Phillips. It's happening. Nat Phillips Nat is Phillips. happening. It's happening. What was it? Four okay, point five. Four and a like half. That. I think we said. I like that. I think that was. I, four. Like I think that. that's decent value. I mean, he's what twenty four. I think it said. 
that he is. Something like that. So, yeah. 24, 25. Yeah, he's he's twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty four. I'll just get him back up on screen for for people to have a, a butcher's at and pick the bones over. So there he is, four and a half mil from Liverpool, and, and he's one assist, and his position is centre back. So four and a half million, Mr. Moyes. Do we have a deal? We do. We're shaking hands on four point five mil. We're shaking hands on four point five mil. I think that's good. Look, I think realistically, you're looking at him as like the replacement for Balbuena. It's about the Paris we pray for Balbuena. He's significantly younger. He's got he's got some experience underneath him. He has a good season. Then, you know, I think he has a good season. His price doubles, triples at that at that sort of age as well. I think. You're looking at someone there who can come in, do bits, probably won't be expected to play every single game. But with Europe, we, you can him, Dawson, Diop, Ogbonna, that's four good centre-backs. I'm happy with that. Nat Phillips is, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's a good shout from my director of football, uh, the YouTube live chat. Uh, I think that's a good shout. I think that's a good shout. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, I, I think um, young young Jake and Cahill have, have given you the seal of approval on that one, Charlie. So. But so, uh, it, that it was takes their, your it budget. Was, it was their shout, to be fair. So I'd, I'd hope they like it because they did suggest it. So if they did, if they suggested it and yes. then I did it, and then they were like, "Listen, what are you doing, sir?" Then we'd have issues. You know, I'd have to maybe revisit the director of football position. But as of now, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, and Alex has made a suggestion of Cameron Carter Vickers on a free. That's I, I, you know. I, I haven't, I, I haven't possibly seen him. Comment. I haven't seen him, so I can't comment. But I've heard. I th- wasn't he at Tottenham? Maybe. I I, I know the name. I know the name. But Sounds again, about right. Watch significantly less football this year, which is getting to me a little bit. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Though. that well, you've got four players through the door, Mister Moyes, mm, uh, mm, and mm. you are down to a, a measly, a meagre fifty-one point seven million pounds in your yeah. transfer kitty. Is that you done, or were you still going to strengthen further? Can I get a price check Mm -hmm. on Sebastian Haller? Oh, my. Oh, I'll tell you what. Sebastian Haller, please. I'll tell you what. That that would get... Watch all the lads in the live chat. They're all going to kick off. 24.3 24.3 million pounds for striker. Okay. 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 Well, let's just, we'll, we'll put it on the shelf now. We'll just have a little think. We'll marinate on it. We'll, we'll just we'll just have a little. We'll marinate on it, and we'll come back. We'll come back to it. But I'm. I'm we might what revisit. was the price again? Twenty? Did you say 24? 20, 20.4? twenty four? Twenty four point three. We'll have a. We'll have a. We'll have a. We'll marry. We'll just. We'll put him on the shelf. We'll put it in the on the board, right? We'll put him in the revisit column, you know, and we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Fair Can enough. I get we we will okay, so park we that one there? We've got we've got we've obviously got the golden goose back in Jordan Hugo. We know this. He's here. He's at the club. <clears throat> you know he's having a preseason a goal game. Machine. Has he scored? We don't know. We'll see. But it's happened, right? It's happened. But I feel like necessarily we need a striker who can fully fight with the position with Antonio, right? I like Antonio, but legitimately, it's going. He's he's going to break down for at least a third of the season. We know this; that's a fact. We've got more games than usual. I think we need to get a striker in, right now. I think it needs to be someone in the vein of Antonio. I was saying this on American Hammers the other day. I don't think there's anyone who really is super similar to the way Antonio plays, especially out and out strikers, because of his like skill set and the fact he just is a winger, right? There's no one who really exists in yeah. the same way that Antonio does. So it's difficult. Someone who I think is underrated because of who they stand next to, therefore I would be interested to know their price, would be Che Adams. Can I have a look at Che Adams, please? Ooh. Okay. 
Let me I think, I think obviously, out of the two, out, obviously out of the two, Danny Ings is the best. We know this. Danny Ings is the better player. But actually, I think Jay Adams is, is relatively decent. Now, I'm not saying we should go for him. I'm not saying he would be first choice or anything like that. But I wanna, I'm just interested in the price. I'm just interested in the price for now. According to transfer market, he is 18 million, one eight. Okay. Um... Oh uh, yeah, Odson Edward would be my next guy to have a little look at. Uh, it's the Celtic striker, okay. Odson Edward. So I got eighteen. Odson Edward, he is coming up at thirteen and a half, Charlie. Okay, we can scrot. We can just cross Che Adams off the list. That's fine. We've we've got Huang was the next boy I was going to go through. Can we can we have a look at Big Huang, please? Big Huang Ki Chan. Uh, Red Bull lights. Okay. Now, now we was linked with him like, in uh, the January transfer window, weren't we? We were winger, come striker, fits that sort of Moyes mold. I like him, but uh, it would have to be the right price. Have to be the right price. Nine point nine. See again, that's kind of good price. That's nine point nine million, Charlie. It's a good price. Thing, what I'll say is this is I so I'm I knew Cahill right, was gonna so... come up with this player. Have you are you, you aware of Silas Waman Gituka? Uh I've heard I, the name comes up I, in I my live Cahill's chat sometimes. Come in with this. I have no clue who they are as of now. Yeah. I'm sure if I look, maybe yeah. I'm, but I, at this point I don't know. I just can't think. Um Verkost, I like a lot. However, that's fine. Don't think he would suit the style. And if we're if we're getting someone who doesn't suit the style, we're getting Halle. <clears throat> but again, we're going we're going to revisit that. We're going to revisit that. Um, I think here's my concern, Gacy, and I want to ask you your opinion on this. Right, you in this situation, you're my assistant Go manager. We need one at the moment, so it's going to be you, Gacy. You're here. Okay. What's your opinion on bringing okay. in two strikers as opposed to just one? In lieu of the idea of uh, young Odebeku sitting there, what's your opinion on bringing in two strikers to play ahead of him as well as Mikel Antonio? Do you think that's something we should do? Something we should avoid? What's your opinion? Yes, 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 I do. I th I I I wouldn't be averse to bringing in a a striker that you're going to pay decent money for that is going to be your your number one striker and is essentially going to relegate Antonio to the bench or maybe push him out to the wing mm. all depending but I think I would probably also be bringing in another striker as well probably a, a more experienced striker maybe for a, a modest fee maybe even on a free and dare, he, dare I mention his name um, Marco Arnautovic might be might be that player you'd go for it you take you take the plunge on, on Marco mm, yeah I mean before Mark Noble had that interview with Peter Crouch. I was like, to be honest with you, I, I'd, I'd rather crap into my hands and clap. But <laughs> after hearing that interview, um, it, it kind of makes me think, well, if he's still on good good terms with the squad, he's obviously a David Moyes. Um, David Moyes got the best out of him and he wasn't the manager when he walked out the door. So it's possibly not going to rock the boat as much as I might have otherwise thought it would. Mm. but obviously he's been in China for the last 18 months, sitting on his backside for a lot of it. So are you going to get the same Marco back? Mm, possibly not, but it might be that he's good enough for a backup role, perhaps. Mm. I I, Marco, my, my gut says no. My gut says no. I think mm -hmm. I, 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 I do. The thing is, is when I think about it, I see all the arguments you're making. I see the arguments you're making. And again, we know he works in the system, which helps, but my gut does say no. But we do know he works mm. in the system. And that is almost that's almost one of my number one priorities right now. You know? That's one of my number one priorities. I knew that Can mentioning I... Marco's name would get a reaction. <laughs> Listen, I we've been setting people off for this round specifically. Okay, if I'm going with my gut, then I, then yes. we'll, we'll, we'll park Marco and I'll ask for a price check on... <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh... No, do you know what? 
Scratch that. You ready for this? You ready for this, Gatesy? I don't know if you're. Pro- I don't know if Go you're. Pro- Gatesy, I, I don't know if you're fully hit, prepared hit with it. for what's about to happen. Okay. I'm. I'm in my head. I'll tell you. I'm. I'm braced in. I'm braced in. Strap yourself in. Okay. I am the manager. I, although I'm yep. David Moyes, it is me. You are. It is. It is me. In this Freaky Friday situation, in which I have taken in his role, that involves changing it up a bit. Okay, doing things a little bit differently. Hey, okay. okay. And to that end, so you're re-signing Andy Carroll. We're re-signing Sebastian Haller. We're bringing him back. Really? We're bringing Ooh. him back. Wow. What did we say he and was? Twenty. You said I think like we said he was twenty four point three, didn't we? Yeah. How much have I got? I've got like I've got like a million, eight trillion back or something. It's calm. It's happening. Oh, you've got fifty one point seven. You've got more than enough for then Sebastian Haller. No what problem we, at all. Why are we in an hour and a bat? Get him in. Come on. Get the big dog in. It's happening. Let's go. Yes. 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 Twenty four point three million. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm just. I'm just. Looking, gentlemen. So, the prodigal son, Mo- Moisey is bringing him back, having sold him a mere matter of months ago. Yeah. To the Ajax, Bastian Haller for twenty four point three million, and and it's got Big. a little bit of a reaction. It seems in the live chat. From a few people, um, mm-hmm. from from Jake, <laughs> yeah. This this was his reaction. Yep. yep. Yeah. I, yep, I, yep, 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 I don't yep. think he's very happy with you, Charlie. I'm not. I'm, I might have misread it, but I don't think he's best impressed. I'm just saying, a strike partnership, H and H, Haller and Hugel for a mere hello right twenty six point one million. You tell it, look, that's an average of 13 mil a striker. You're telling me that's bad. I'm saying it's not. I'm saying it's not. I'm saying, I'm saying I, the continent is scared, Gatesy. They're scared. Every club is now looking at their Europa League group draw, going, I hope we don't draw West Ham because they are they are ready. They are they are ready. Okay. They're ready. You've convinced me. You've made a believer out of me, Mr. Walsh, I've got to say. I, I, Look, I, right. Do you know what? Here's, I think if you, at this precise moment in time, if you told me black was white, I'd believe you. I'm well, not going to argue. Listen, I'm, just, I'm just saying this. Haller and Hugel beyond, partnership, the two H's. It's not beyond reasonable doubt. Is all Charlie, I can Look, I just point is... something out? You're going to have to get another striker, and you're going to have to give get them the, the surname beginning with H, because then it'd be a Triple H front line, wouldn't it? Oh, Just, just floating Gacy. the idea. Just now floating the idea. Here. Now we're here. Just floating right, the on. idea. Hang on, you are You're going to speaking do it, aren't my you? language. You are speaking my. Give me all of. T- just give me a couple. Just give me a minute, and then I'll tell you what I love your boy. <laughs> but you are you are speaking my language. Well, <laughs> well, just to let you know where you're at, you've got twenty seven point four million left in the kitty. So can I get a price check on Harland, please? Oh, I think I think he's going to be a bit more than he that. I, I my... have a. Are you, or are you on about his dad? You are on about his dad, aren't you? <laughs> with the dodgy <laughs> yes. knee. With the dodgy knee. Yeah, yeah, you might be able to get him for twenty-seven odd billion, but I'm not too sure that you're going to get his son. But I'll have a look for Just you. Have a, have a you ask me nicely. We'll see. We'll, see. We'll, we'll have a look. We'll, we'll have a look. You never know. Transfer market might think he's a. No, they don't know. They've done ninety-nine million. So you can I have get enough a price to buy check. in right at the very start? Can we can we have a price <laughs> check on Gonzalo Higuain, please? Uh, who is of course at Inter Miami? Is um, he still even playing? He's playing at Inter Miami at the moment. David Beckham's team in the US. Wow, he's, he's got to be about nine. How much did he's you say? Nine, how much? He's nine million quid. Ooh. You're going to do it, aren't you? <laughs> He's... Oh, imagine the front three. nine nine million. Oh, the movement would be minimal, but the bants would be high. Years of age. 
I'm just I'm scrolling through now. I'm just looking. I'm just seeing. Is there is there any better H options? Um, <laughs> is there? Well, there any... are, but you can't afford them. Well, okay, we know that. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. Give it. <sighs> Am I doing it? Am I completing Triple H? Is it happening? Is it happening? Can I get? Can I just get? Can I get? Can, can you just read off who I've bought so far, please? Okay, you've got Jordan Hugill for one one point eight million. You've yes. got Jesse Lingard for nineteen point eight million. You've got Robert Sanchez for seven point two million. You've got Nat Phillips for four point five million, and Sebastian Haller for twenty four point three million. It did escalate at the end there. It did escalate. And that last much... one caused a lot of controversy. <laughs> How much money have I got left? I don't know why you're having a go at me, Jake. It's not my <laughs> fault. <laughs> Giving what's me the... stick. So what's the budget left? What's the budget left? Uh, you've got 27.4. I'd like to sign Gonzalo Higuain, please. You're going to go Triple for H Gonzalo Higuain. The... Triple H is three year old now. Argentinian old man. Yeah. Who's gone for a, for a pension in the United States. Yeah. But because his name, his surname begins with a H, you've signed two forwards that had the, the surname beginning with a H. And that's the, we're, you want the triple H front line you said it, of Higuain, like, Haller, and Hugill. Look, Paul Levesque is a West Ham fan. And if I'm not respecting him, in the way he deserves to, okay, then I don't know what we're doing here, Gatesy. I don't know what we're doing here. We've no. got... Oh, look Fair at enough. the beard as well. Look there he at is. the beard, I'll tell you Gatesy. what, that is, that is a bit of a beard, isn't it? That, that is, is a beast. A... That is <laughs> absolute... I'll tell you what, the old King of Shaves ain't dealing with that, I'm telling you now. The King I'll of Shaves what, is, is, not, is gone. Not unlike... Not unlike Triple H's beard at times at the moment, with the yeah. nothing on top and the big beard. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, get him in, Gonzalo Higuain. He's coming in. Bring him to welcome Gonzalo. Hashtag welcome Gonzalo. He's, in. He's here. He's in. He's Triple in. H. Triple H. You've heard. Of you, I, I, I don't think I don't think Ben's too impressed. Listen, I'm I'm not here to convince the masses from the get-go, they'll get on board when the Europa League final is won by West Ham United and Jordan Hugel, long ball, picture it, Gacy, picture it, Nat Phillips, long ball, launches over the top, right? Flipping Gonzalo Higuain, chests it down, like Ronaldinho in the old Nike advert, right? Flicks it up, does a little Rabona pass, yeah. Right, Haller running on, flying through with all of the pace of the Titanic. Right, goes flying through. Right, pulls it back across goal, slotted home by Jordan Huber. Yeah, I'm not here to convince them now, but they'll be convinced. You know, Ray's had enough yeah. of you. He's off. He's got Ray, to deal with me for another. You, you, he's got to deal with me for another cost, hour. At you've o'clock, cost so. me a viewer. You've cost <laughs> me a viewer, Charlie. Look, he's got to deal what with me for another hour. He's got to deal with me for another hour on two spanners, one hammer later. So I suspect he'll uh, he'll have to. He'll, I won't hear the end of it then either. To be fair, um, Ashley Fletcher was all right. Let's not dig impressed. out Ashley Fletcher. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Um, we are uh, okay. Yeah. So your your budget, your budget with that purchase of the Argentinian strike legend. Gonzalo Higuain for nine million yes. has taken your eighty-five million down to a remaining eighteen point four million, and you have okay. brought in six players thus far. Are okay. you going to carry on, or are you going to put that eighteen point four million into Mister Sullivan's bank account? I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. We're blowing it all. Good, We're lad. blowing it all. We're doing it. Oh, We're doing it. We need a left. We need a left back. That's something I feel like I'd is say necessary. so. I think that's necessary. Mm. Now, he had an absolutely shocking Champions League final, but I would like a price check on Zinchenko. Okay. I've got shocking. a funny feeling he's probably going to be a little bit beyond what you've got left in your in your skyrocket, mate. But, yeah, 22.5. I, 
Okay. Shocking Champions League final. Didn't want him anyway. 25 million. And you've got 18.4 million. Not happening. Mind you, Jake's come up with one. Yeah, can I, can, yeah let's have a look at Furpo. We'll have a look at Furpo. You know? I the, actually, the I actually got, got him here, wrote right down. Uh, okay, fair. Because the director of football, uh, they've let me have my fun. You can afford they him. Saw I was, I was, I was obsessed with the Triple H thing. And so I, I think we should listen. How much is he? Lay, lay it down. Tell you, he's nine million. Ooh. Ooh. He's nine okay. million whole pounds, and you've got eighteen million, eighteen point four. So you can afford this kid. He's only twenty-four years of age. He's a left back by default, who can also fall back. So the question is, Mister Charlie Walsh, aka David Moyes. Are you bringing him to the London Stadium, do you think? Nine million is a very tempting price, actually. A very tempted price. Um, Gabriel Gibbons, again, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. I know the name, but I haven't seen him. Uh, fresh find, fresh fielder. Uh, Jamal Lewis, I have seen. Do you know, we'll have a cheeky price check on Jamal Lewis. Cheeky price check on Jamal Lewis. We'll cheeky, okay, we'll so we've got nine check. million quid for Furpo. Mm. Right, I've got a funny feeling. Someone asked for this earlier. Jamal Lewis is fifteen point three million. Okay, so you can well, but obviously he's a little bit more expensive to the tune of about six point three million. So depends what. I tell you what. I suppose that, the thing with Lewis is at least he's he's tested in the Premier League, isn't he? Whereas um, Furpo is. isn't. You're not I quite agree. sure is he that, is he going to settle in the Premier League? That is the big difference. But so is it worth? At the same time, I'm liking that nine mil shout. That nine mil goes well. He's the right age. Not that Lewis isn't. Lewis is also the right age. But nine mil for a player who's played at the highest level for someone who's only 24. Never, like, don't get me wrong, never convinced at Barcelona, but I do think he, he convinced enough to go there in the first place. I think that's a an interesting shout. Here's what I'll say about Rico Henry. I really like Rico Henry, but given Brentford are coming up, I don't think it's possible. Uh, again, I want to want to try and keep this. I'm, I'm gonna, just going. I'm going to give you a go on. Well, I'm going to I'm going to help you out, Charlie, because I I know exactly how much transfer market have this fella down for um, Rico Henry. Uh, it might interest you to know that transfer market have Rico Henry down at 4.5 million. What interest I mean, that, that's going to shock Jake because he thought he was expensive, but nope. See, here's what I'll say about Rico Henry. And that's, this is what interests me about him. Is he, I, I think he would be perfect for the left wing back role. I'm never super mm. convinced by Rico Henry defensively. However, I do. I am convinced by him at least going forward. Um, yep. At, at championship level, um, whether or not that relates into Premier League, we'll, we'll have to see. You know, it didn't with Fredericks; it has with other people, for example. So I think that's, that's certainly an option. Certainly an option. Um, oh, that's a great shout, Ben. Can I, yeah? Can I get a price, mm. price check on Robinson, please? You want yeah, to do a price, price check Robinson. on Anthony Robinson? Anthony right. Robinson with two E's. Um, yeah, I'm also I also quite like the idea of bringing in Henry because that that means although we've brought in four people with the letter H, it means that we only have to play three of them to get Triple H on the pitch. You know what I mean? So that, that's 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 a bonus there. That's a bonus. But let's think about that. Hmm? Well, Anthony Robinson is and he's a dual national although he represents the united states he was actually i believe born in milton Keynes, if i remember rightly i read um 6.3 million pounds worth of left fullback interesting interesting you raise a great mm. point carl you great you raise a great point i keep coming back to that furpo price though nine mil hmm just because, because again, I think decisions, people, decisions. It's, it's a bit like Lingard, right? People dis players who play for the biggest clubs but don't succeed fully 
because they didn't succeed fully on a stage where everyone sees them. And so it's very, you see it a lot and it gets passed down, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean you can't make it as a very, very good player, you know? Just because you're not good enough to be at Barcelona doesn't mean you're not good enough to play for Villarreal and get to the Europa League final or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I keep coming back to that Furpo. And I'm thinking to myself, Furpo, I think Jamal, out of all the players we've looked at, I think Jamal Lewis is the one who could go for more money than Furpo in the long run, but it would require yep. him to fulfill that potential. And whether he fulfills that potential is as as much of a, a given at this point as it would be for Furpo, except Furpo has a bigger reputation. Nine mil. He's very, he'd come with a high wage price compared to Jamal Lewis. But we're not oh. worried about the wages at the minute. We're just do, do, dealing with the transfer fees. So we're signing Junior Furpo. We'll go with the original shout. Junior Furpo. I've been, I've been swayed by the price. I've been swayed by the price. Nine million pounds worth of left back. Okay. So that means. Your budget has been reduced by 9 million quid. You now have 9.4 million pounds left in the kitty and you have brought in seven players now. Can I get a price check? That is true. Bilirici. That is true. Can I get a price and now check he's a Bilirici Bilirici manager, Jamie O'Hara? No. Um... <laughs> £2.50. Okay. Okay. Gacy, we need a DM. Yep. Okay. Now, I like the I like I like Noble. I like Rice. I like Suchek. I even liked Lanzini that one time he played there. Not the second time, didn't go as well, but the first time, all good. I'm happy with that. However, I, I would feel comfortable knowing we had an extra bloke in the squad. Now, mm. Connor Coventry might be that guy. But Moyes apparently doesn't like him. And by apparently, I mean, I don't know anything, but the evidence suggests he's never going to play a game of football ever in his entire history. He hasn't been sniffing his around life. his daughter or something, is he? I listen, listen. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But why? So, so maybe, and I, in my head, I would like it to be Connor Coventry in the same way I would have liked it to be the person I want to get a price check on, and that's Josh Cullen. Oh, another ex hammer you want to bring back into the fold. Just wow. Like, Hold on, hold on. Is this going to get the same reaction that Sebastian? How wow! I don't, wow. Think, it will get, I, okay. I don't think it will get the same hey, reaction. Josh I'll tell you what, the person I'm going to say after market. Oh God! Go on. Well, the Andalect captain, 25 years of age, Josh Cullen. It's 2.34 million on transfer market. So you can easily afford him. Easily. Can I just say, I found myself this entire You've show. 9.4 uh, million. I found myself this entire show, <laughs> fittingly for the Sebastian Haller thing, just fiddling with some table salt. Um, I don't know why. It's just next to me. So ah. I'm just going to keep that there. Maybe that's influencing my decisions. 2.4 is interesting. Here's a name that is going to get that same reaction. Can I get a press oh, no. check? Don't, Charlie. Don't don't can, do this to me. Can I get I've, a I've only got eight people watching this live for Christ's sakes. Can I get a price check on Havard North Fight, please? Oh my god. Get him back. Hear me out for the right price. I think he's at Hoffenheim at the moment. Havard North Fight, Norwegian. Yeah. CD CDM could also play center back. Oh. Can play oh. right back. Yeah, he's well. His default position is is centre back, and uh, he's one point three five million, Mister Walsh. Can I get a price? Check? See now, I I actually think that Cap Cavill makes a couple of sensible suggestions. Although I know one of them's got to be out, or is he? No, hang on. No, I think I'm going to help you out here. I'm fairly sure you can afford either one of these because I think. Crowl was nine million, and your Kushlu mm -hmm. was. I got it down here, six point seven five. Up to you. I mean, if you want to go for um, Havard Nordvite and cause the six people I've got left to bugger off elsewhere, then fine. Don't worry about me. 
hear me out. Can I get a price check on Gokantore? Oh, for God's sake, Charlie. Can I get a price check on Gokan? You can. Tore, please. You can. You can. I wouldn't say no, because I wouldn't be so rude, because you've given up your time to... Here he is. He... Oh, my God. <laughs> He's a... Say that again. You cut out. You cut out how much? Eight hundred, eight hundred and fifty-five thousand. He's not okay. even a million. So can I get? A, can I get? If you, a price if you check? want to get Gok and Tori, who never got his head up, can I get a price check on Sofian Fuguli? Mister Walsh, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Oh, God. Uh, Sofia and Fuguli. Well, he is over a million pounds. In fact, he's over two million. He's not quite Ooh. three. He's 2.7 million. So, right. So, how much do they have left? Like nine, you said. 2.7 million. You've got 9.4. So, how much? I should, I should to... probably point out that, in fairness, if you're after a defensive mid, that's probably not going to be Sofia and Fuguli, with the greatest of respect. But. Wow. David I agree Moore's with does you. like converting players, doesn't he? He does. I strongly A, I agree. B so how much combined would Faguli, Torre, uh, Nordvite, and Josh Carlin be? You want to go for all of them? Can I? Is the art oh. look. I'm spending, Gatesy, to misquote a film, I'm spending so much time thinking about whether I can, I don't know whether I should. Can I get them all? No, in at you once? shouldn't. I'll, I'll answer that question for you. You shouldn't. But can, no. But can I? No. You, can you, I? You probably could. Okay, right. Well, Sophie and Faguli's 2.7. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll tell you what. Have you got a pen and paper there? Right. You, Listen, jot, I'm a, you jot this down. 2.7. Right. 2.7 for Sophie and Faguli. Yeah. Yeah. Who was the other one? We've got Cantore, yeah? Yeah, he was like 800k or something. 855,000, if I remember correctly. Be, I'll... Yeah, 855,000 pounds, right? Okay. Then you wanted Havard Nordvite, wasn't it? Yep. Yes, that was who I wanted. I think he was one. Who else but was again, there? You say, say, say the Nordvite one you cut out. You want Simone Jonathan Clary. <laughs> 1.35 million. Let's be let's be serious here. Let's be serious here. One point three five, and then the last one was Cullen, who was two point something, right? Uh, I think he was two point three four, if I remember rightly. Let me just check. Uh, yes, Josh Cullen is two point three four million. Gacy, the final the final transfers I will be making in the summer of twenty twenty one. Will be Havard Nordvite, Sofian Fuguli, Gokantor, and Josh Cullen for a combined price of 7.245 million. Thank you very much. I think we've got two DMs in there. We got some extra backup on the wings, which just felt like a sign that we may be needed. Um, and you know, like you said, Moyes likes converting players. Maybe we'll see Gokantor convert to a striker. Who knows? Who knows? But the point is, is we got them in and now we can mold them how we want. Now we can mold them how we want, yeah? Let's see Astrogugu try to take us on this time, yeah? They won't. They can't, okay? Because they didn't make it, and we did. We're going again. Let's roll. So, Faguli, what was he? He was 2.7, wasn't he? 2.7, yes. Torre was 855k. Cullen was 2.34 yep. mil. What was Nordbite? 1.35 mil? Yep. Okay, yep. and that was a combined total of what was that, sorry? 7.245. 2.45, which means that you are now down to 2.155 million. Is that where it ends? That is where or it dare ends. dare I ask? No, that's where it ends. That's where it ends. The 2. Point whatever mil we've got left. Will David Sullivan's going to love you. On the Christmas budget, when inevitably we're through to like the quarterfinals of the Europa League, we've, we've won the League Cup or we're in the final of it, you know, just big celebrations halfway through the season on what will already be an immense year 
for West Ham United. That's where that two point whatever mill will go. But until we, we we don't have to spend it all, you know, we don't have to go we don't have to go crazy here. Let's just let's just get the necessities in, and then having that little bit of extra budget, you know, maybe we want maybe we want to you know maybe that leaves us in January with a little bit of money to play with if we need it. If we need it, but we're not gonna. We got squad depth. We've got experience. We've got youth. We've got we've got Jordan. I think we've plumbed the depth. Be... I think. Listen, if the, listen, I, it, you can say what you want about me, but I know how to scrape a barrel. You know what I mean? You know oh what God, I mean? Yes. So there we go. That's it, Gatie. So should we should we just go through it for the ladies and gentlemen at home who have probably are, are quite. Uh, I'm trying to think of the word that they're probably feeling right now. There's, there's probably an awful lot of emotions. I'm, I'm guessing anger and frustration might be two of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. But whatever, it's your 85 million. You're in charge. Thank you can do what you want with it. Correct. Uh, no, sorry, Jake. Jake, I'm I'm, I'm going to have to. I, I, I apologize. I apologize. Gacy doesn't I, no, make the Jake, rules. He just enforces Jake, it. I, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, mate. You know, I, I, I've got this far with it. I'm going to have to. So, the first signing through the door of David Moyes, aka Charlie Walsh, was mm-hmm. Jordan Hugill for 1.8 million, Beautiful. followed by Jesse Lingard for 19.8 million. Then Robert Sanchez, the Brighton goalkeeper, for 7.2 million. Nat Phillips from Liverpool for 4.5 million. The return of Sebastian Haller for 24.3 million. Mm-hmm. Then Gonzalo Higuain for 9 million pounds. To complete yep. a strike force of Triple H. Then it was Junior Furpo from Barcelona as a left fullback for £9 million. And then we went back to the future with Gokan Torre for £855,000, mm-hmm. Sofiane Faguli for £2.7 million, Josh mm-hmm. Cullen for £2.34 million, and Havard Nordweit for £1.35 yeah, million. Meaning we've got in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven players. So you've got you've got a whole starting eleven there, Mr. Walsh, and you've yep. got two point one five five million in change. Listen, Are you happy? For, for, you can't tell me those four players at the end plus Hugo for a combined nine million isn't a bargain. Isn't a bargain. Isn't a bar- you, you, you can't you can't tell me that, Gatesy, because it is. It is. How you've been it's been good to serve. I don't think sir. I Thank could you tell much. you anything, Charlie, that would make any difference. No, nope, I've made up my mind. <laughs> I've made up my mind. Look, we got what we needed through the door, right? We got we got the backup in positions. We got we got your DMs, we got your, your left back, we got striker in, we got we got stuff we needed. And then on top of that, we 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 the accoutrements. You know, we 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 spread this. Well, the, well, the one thing I will say is, it's, it's probably going to cause a little bit of conversation. It's not been boring. I think it's fair to call, say, they Charlie. Call me the conversation starter, Gatesy. They don't listen. I don't. I don't host two spanners. One conversation hour, killer. I heard for no reason. You know, it's because uh, I just, I, 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 I just, I bring, I bring vibes. You brought something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not not too sure if it's vibes or what. I don't know. But uh, Charlie, yes. it's been an absolute pleasure, my friend. You've uh, Thank you. you've done it very uh, a very a very interesting job. I think it's fair to say of being. Uh, and Ben makes the point that they're probably all sort of players. So mm-hmm. yeah, they probably are. You know. So Charlie probably got a backhander for a lot of them. So. No, listen. What I'm just do? giving them the chance they deserve. All right, the the, the chance they, they crave. You know, I tell you what, you you all won't be laughing when after a season <clears throat> and maybe like four assists, Gokantori goes for one point four mil. That's a solid six hundred k profit, Gatesy. I don't look. It's the it's the it's the it's the the little things, marginal gains. You know. Well, that's, you know? that's what they do with the British cycling, isn't it? You know, it's the aggregation of marginal mm. gains, you know, getting sort of like a millisecond quicker. And yeah, yeah, I, I, I hear you. Not too sure I believe you, but I hear you. Uh, God help you. God help you, Jake. <laughs> right. 
Okay, so we're getting close to the end of the, of the stream. And again, I, I thank you for your time, Charlie, and everybody that's been in the live chat. This is where it gets a little bit serious, though, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do my usual sign out. And I make no apologies if I bore you. Tough, quite frankly, because it's for this young lady. So young Isla Caton is fighting for her very life. She needs treatment for neuroblastoma. This is not available in this country. So they've got to get the money together for treatment that's in a foreign country. So they've got to pay for the flights there. They've got to pay for their accommodation whilst they're there, their living costs. The bills are still coming in in the UK. Um, guys, if ever a family needs that, our help, this is it right here. So on the banner there, you've, all that information is on the link below the stream on YouTube and on Facebook. So you can quite happily copy it and paste it and put it on all your social media platforms with a little explanation on what it's about to try and keep the momentum behind it. Um, and if any of you watching um, either live or later have got any spare funds to put in either the PayPal or the Just Giving, we would urge you to do so. Um, time really is of the essence, guys. Um, the clock is ticking for this little girl and we need to try and get her safe and well as soon as we possibly can. So let's come together, whether you're West Ham fans, football fans, if you've got a decent bone in your body and you've got a few quid spare, even if it's just a quid, put it here, please. Thank you very much indeed for listening. So, Charlie, I'm going to hit the, the credits and I'm then going to hit end broadcast. It's been an, um, an interesting experience, I think it's fair to say, Mr. Walsh. Absolute pleasure, Casey. Whenever you need me, let me know. Do appreciate your time, mate. <laughs> and uh, for those of you that have watched it, thank you very much. And uh, only one thing left to say, isn't there, Charlie? Come on, your irons. Come on, your irons. Stay safe, guys. <laughs>